Hi guys, uh, this is Donk. I'm here with uh, Dragon and Oric. Hello. Hello. And uh, we are going to uh, just show you some basics on ARC Survival Evolved. Uh, it's coming out for the consoles very soon, and uh, this could give you a little bit of a leg up on the competition. So the Must. first the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make your character. Obviously, I logged into a uh, public server here, and I'm going to put in my survivor name, and then I can adjust my character to the, you know, whatever my likings are. I can make his neck long if I want to make him really stout big shoulders the funny thing about it is that when you when you make him have a big chest he also has a big back like he's uh, he's pretty pretty burly dude don't, don't forget you can also uh, save your presets oh if you want to jump on different servers that's right. So if you wanted to, uh, to to jump on another server and have this same build, and I've actually already preloaded a few of these, so um, I'm going to go with my Pappy build, and I'm going to load that, and that will, uh, that will give me the Pappy. This is what I usually use for uh, survival of the fittest. Now, if you wanted to actually do a build and save that build, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make this guy, let's say that he has a really thick long neck and really big feet and hands now what you mean dunk is really big back <laughs> really big back very muscular um we're gonna we're gonna pop in a name here and so let's say we go uh turtleneck todd Oh, well, with 1D, okay? So it's it's just going to be with 1D. So let's say that we put that in there, and I say save. Well, every time that I want to switch back and forth between these different character models, all I have to do is select it and go to load. Now, this may be different with the uh, with the console version. It may be just a little bit different. Uh, obviously, you're not going to be using the mouse like I am. I do use a controller, though. So I use a, a Xbox 360 controller. It just is something that I've played with uh, for quite a while now. I have some wrist problems and I need to use that um, so um, anyway uh, we can we can do that and now we can go back to turtleneck Todd and I'm gonna load him up and uh, I think I want to give him a nice tan and I am going to spawn in south too um, this is the map up here. You can take a look at the map and uh, kind of see the different uh, locations. Now, it's not going to show you exactly where these locations are. Um, hey, do you guys remember what uh, South 1, South 2, South 3, which ones they are? Uh, south 1 is closer to the east, I believe. Okay, so South 1 is over in this region, maybe. And then South 2 would be in the middle. And South uh, 3 you, would be over here. If you get here. into game, real quick and then like kill yourself you'll be, you'll see the regions oh so let's do that real quick um we're we're just gonna go in and we're gonna pretend like we've never done this before which maybe Oops. you haven't <laughs> no i just completely purpose purposefully died <laughs> so i could make it make <laughs> it to you guys where are you at where i'm at going? south too oh that's where i was oh. i couldn't find you okay all right uh i wasn't there just before some, there's a oh there's a piranha here no it's a dead piranha. All right well I will be right back. I gotta fix something real quick here. I am on an Alienware Alpha and sometimes it has a problem knowing the difference between using the controller as a mouse and being in desktop mode. Just Ooh, <laughs> I just ran into some uh, someone's base a little bit, and they had the uh, the turrets up. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, that's what got me as well. Oh, that's right. Uh, you have to wait to respawn now with the um. If you die too quickly. What? Why do you have to wait? Uh, it was implemented a little while ago that you have you have a respawn timer on the PvP servers. Oh. So basically, you can't raid someone's place and have a have a a spawn location too close, and then just like oh they kill you, well you get up and just start raiding again. You have it's it's not a long long timer; it's about a minute. Hmm. Well, that I think makes it was sense. 45 seconds. 
Um, you know, this is this is kind of neat here. They these people have a base and they have pillars that they've built up, and then at the top of the pillars they uh, they they put like a a roof up there, and then on top of that they have the plant species X, which is attacking me currently. Um, it's a uh, it's a plant species that shoots bubbles of goo at you. There we go. I just killed a compy. All right. I'm starting my recording now as well. So I'm, uh, I just knocked out this copy. <laughs> and a frog and rider just jumped over me. Luckily, they didn't notice me. <laughs> uh, I was I quickly just uh, typed in chat earlier, asking if this is PvP and stuff. And most people said it is, but mm. most people don't act PvP. Or at least not all the time. So. <laughs> They could have been lying to me. I don't know. So what I'm doing here is I'm just walking around trying to um, trying to get these these turrets to kill me, which it looked like. Oh, there we go. Okay, it looked like one of them was trying to shoot at me, and then they just stopped shooting at me. So maybe a little glitch. All right. So now we have the ability to take a look at the different zones here. So um, you'll see that East One will start at the top here. East One is the uh, lower, the the southeast corner there, and then you have the Middle East area, <laughs> so, um, and then we also have the uh, kind of northern east area. Donk, you, you shouldn't you shouldn't say things like that, man. Middle East. That's right. Yo, yo, no comment. No comment. Donk. No, no comment. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, it might become very PvP. That's that's right. <laughs> Huge wars are going to break out there. Um, so we've got uh, we've got these three zones in the in the east. So you can see that uh, it goes from the bottom to the top. One, two, three, and then north <coughs> zone one, north zone two, and north zone three. Um, those those are actually the uh, the zones that you can spawn in over here. But you notice that they're over on the eastern side. They're actually not very uh, very close over here. The reason for that is because of the snow biome. So that's that's going to be that whole area over there. Uh, if you take a look at the south, we've got south one, south two, south three, going from left to right. So that's uh, one, two, three, there, and west, west one, west two, and west three. West three is uh, is is probably going to be the more dangerous, I would say, out of out of the three of those, um, and I would say that uh, most of the north areas are are pretty dangerous as well. So you might steer clear. Of yeah, as, especially uh, on the snow biome that's there. I don't know. I don't have the map up. I can't see if that's north one or north three. It's north three. Yeah, north three. You're gonna have a bad time if you spawn there. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's a bad starting location. Um, my preference. I I really like the. Um, I like south two. That's that's one of my favorites. Um, I really like uh, West Three. And I West Three or West Two? West Three. Okay. Yeah, that's that's one of my favorites. I I really like that because there are a lot of things around it. Um, it's a little bit dangerous, um, but you you do have a lot of resources and a lot of nice spots to build, if if nobody's taken it already, of course. Um, so. Basically, uh, this this whole um, this whole map is wide open for you to traverse. I'm gonna respawn, and where did I spawn? <laughs> you forgot to pick uh, somewhere, didn't you? I sure did. <laughs> so yep. now, now you have to kill yourself again. That's right. Um, <coughs> all right, so I am at the uh, I'm at the red obelisk. So, I ended up choosing uh, West 2, I believe. I guess I'll be able to, to watch it later and know which one I spawned at for sure, but I think that's the one. So, uh, where are you guys now? Uh, I spawned at South 2. Okay. I am... I'm at South 2, not far from the, uh, the Strange Rock Formation on the coast and the turrets. Okay. 
So I think you're a little bit back the way I came because I'm uh, I'm on that like. Is that you, Kai, running past me? I'm on the rock formation, like near the rock formation right now. Oh, I got a hunger. I got the hunger. One of the big things uh, with this is that you've got to watch that panel that's over on the right hand side. Um, if you take a look on the right hand side of the screen, you can see that when I'm underwater, you'll see a little icon that pops up. That's your uh, oxygen level, so you got to make sure that that doesn't go down to zero. If it does, you start losing health really quickly. Um, right below that is the uh, the inner, or no, that's your um, experience. So that's yep. your experience bar. And the one below that that looks like a little weight, that's actually your weight. Now, Dunk, I don't know if they're going to be able to do this on the uh, on the console, but a good tip for the PC at the very least is r.bloom quality zero, space zero, and r.lightshaft zero uh, will make your game, like it'll take out some of the the uh, visual effects of it, but it makes it a lot easier to see right. uh, certain things. So uh, mainly what you're, uh, what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to take a look here um, in your options, and I'm sure that on the console it's actually going to have these options. Um, so you can, you can actually go in here and you can, uh, you can take a look at all of these little uh, checkboxes here as well. And uh, you can put it down the ground clutter, all of that kind of stuff, um, just to just to make it uh, a little bit better. Maybe the um, uh, mesh level detail. So um, I'm actually drowning right now. I did that on purpose, just so you know. Um, so let's. Uh, sure you did, don't. No, no, not really. I'm dr I'm drowning on purpose so I can get to uh, South Two where my buddies are. And then we will get back to the bar on the right hand side. Mmm, that's some good cooking right there. I'm just cooking up some meat right now. I Build myself a dodo. South 2, we're gonna spawn in a random location in South 2. That's kind of a confusing way to say it, really, if you think about it, right? Yeah. They say, oh, where do you want to spawn? Oh, and is it a random location? Oh, okay. Um, do you guys have a uh, torch out? No, I do have a fire lit. Um, I don't know about the other guys, though. I, I see some folks We're over there that have a torch, I think. That's probably us. Um, All right, well, you guys found each other. We That's just nice. lit a fire. Okay. I'm going to head over, if I can get over. Oh, I see you there. There's nothing in the water. You gotta be careful when you get into the waters here because the uh, piranhas and sharks, uh, there are megalodons that are in here. They're not megalodon size; they're more like great white size, but but they're still really dangerous. The piranhas are probably more dangerous. What do you guys think? Uh, early on, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd, I I don't know, man. Like the megalodons are only in like the ocean. Normally. Um. But the piranhas will be in like all the rivers and stuff, and they're, they're very dangerous. Yeah, the piranhas are, uh, that's that's probably the worst. And if you get down into caves as well. Um, oh, yeah. I'm going to show you a cave pretty soon here. Um, you're crazy, man. You're, you're, you're crazy right now. I'm going to do I'm gonna it. Show them a cave. I'm going to show them a cave. So, I, if I can find my way to it these days, I... You know, since the biomes <laughs> came, I I don't know uh, I don't Are know this area as well as I did. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anyway, on the right hand side, uh, let's let's talk about the the other ones. You wanna you wanna go through a couple of those other ones? Sure. Um. So what what one did you just do? You've done experience, right? Experience and weight. Oh, you've done weight already. Um. All right. I you know I didn't really talk too much about it uh, going into the inventory screen. So if okay. you want to if you want to kind of go through that that would be awesome too. Um, all right. Well, if you open up your inventory screen, if you look over everything you're carrying, will have a a weight. Um, so if you got a couple of stones, then they weigh like half of a unit. I don't know what we're gonna call these units. Um, call it whatever you want. 
pounds, kilos, I don't care. Um, but yeah, so you got the, everything has a weight, and then if you have a look at your weight on the side there, you'll, uh, you, at the start you can carry a hundred weight, but if you carry a hundred weight you can't actually move. Uh, so normally about 75% of your total weight is, is like, I think before you start really slowing down too much. But the more you're carrying, the slower, the slower you start getting after a point. Um, but that's weight, and if you're getting a bit heavier, you can look in your inventory and be like, alright, I don't need that, just drop it. Um, or, with your experience, you can start leveling those up. I guess you, you'll probably talk about that in a minute, Donk. Yeah, definitely. Um, you yeah. know, I, I actually just threw a couple of points into melee damage, and uh, it's it's really good to have melee damage because the more melee damage you have, the more stuff you're going to collect if you're um, if you're gathering or if you're hitting uh, trees or rocks or what have you. You're going to collect a little bit more just based on that. Um, all of your different stats uh, will will give you different things. Of course, you know, health is just what it says stamina will allow you to run further faster or no further not faster um further and swim for longer as well that's right uh not only that but you also have your oxygen level that's right below there and that's going to help with your swimming as well as far as speed goes and how long you can stay down um, then you have food and water. Of course, you got to keep yourself fed. I don't usually put a whole lot. I don't put any points into food or water. I just eat when it's time and drink when it's time. What do you guys do? Uh, yeah, I'm the same. I don't put any points in there. But obviously, if you put points in there, it means you can go for longer without eating. Or you can eat them. And when you do, you have to eat more, though. Yeah, it's uh, it's one of those things that's uh, it's a constant battle. You're always eating. You're always drinking. For me... I, I just kind of take food with me and I, may, I make sure that I always have some. Um, then you have weight. We just talked about weight. Uh, melee damage, we talked about that. Uh, movement speed. Movement speed is uh, is one of the, the things that's really good in PvP, don't you guys think? Uh, yeah, I, li I like it. Uh, I put a few points in it when we do like Spiral of the Fittest, which is uh, like the Hunger Games, if, if people have seen the Hunger Games or whatever. Um, yeah, it's... It, so I put a couple of points in there, just to just get around a bit quicker. Um, but yeah, it basically, if you want to be able to move, like if you've got, uh, maybe you make a base and you want to be able to run run to collect trees or something close to your base. Um, or again, like you said, in PvP, if you're fighting, like to be able to dodge people's arrows and stuff. Mm -hmm. Or uh, outrun them if, if you're outmatched, yeah. you know. Yeah, do you want to get away? Yeah, totally. Sure. It's it's a good idea to have some stamina and speed if, if you're more of a runner than you are a fighter. Um, fortitude. You know what? Fortitude is one of those things that I underestimated at first. Um, Jay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't tell me that that was not one of the big things that I took away from our meeting. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Jay, uh, Dragon used to, uh, he, he used to actually... You can call me Jay. <laughs> <laughs> make, make sure people know who you're talking about. <laughs> That's right. Dra so, Dragon used to, uh, he used to have, like, 40 points in fortitude, and I was always like, dude, really, you're wasting your points, what's going on with that? And, uh, w there was one time that we were up on the mountain, and he was just fine, and I froze to death and died. <laughs> up in the snow when it first came out? <laughs> uh-huh. And I, I was like, okay, well, you know what? I'm I'm definitely going to rebuild my character and do it that way. Um, and and luckily they have the uh, mind wipe potion uh, on the PC version, so you're able to uh, to build it. They, they should have that in the Xbox version as well because it's a craftable it's a craftable potion. Yeah, I I would hope that they would because uh, otherwise you have to reroll your character and level it all up and everything. That's not much fun. Um, um, one other thing, Dunk, when you're doing character creation, you can't actually switch between the way you look like unless you reset your whole character. Yeah, that's right. So you would actually have to do a reset on that. Y it doesn't happen every time you die. Yeah. Is that what you're getting we, at? Yeah, yeah, which they should have seen when you died, but just just in case uh, the way you worded it was a bit, a bit funny. Yeah. Um, so as far as the... Um, the crafting speed, unless you are your tribe's main builder, I wouldn't mess with crafting speed personally. What do you guys think? No, like, crafting speed, no. 
not really. Um, like you said, unless well, the fire went up. I, <laughs> I need. I can't see anything now. I need to uh, change my gamma. Um, but yeah, as you said, like unless you're dedicated, like you're a dedicated builder or something. Like if you have a bunch of people and they're like, "All right, we're gonna get this guy to build everything for us," um, I wouldn't really worry about it. Uh, crafting crafting speed later on doesn't really have that big of an effect effect either, um, because you end up using machines and stuff to craft for you. Mm -hmm. Like in the later game, when you're building in the smithy and stuff. It still affects I, I, that, though. It, it does oh, it affect does it? the speed, yeah. But um, okay. but the the cool thing about that is that you can you can just put it in there and you just let it go, let it do its thing. You walk away, yeah, exactly. you go do something and, else. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. All right. In that case, it, it'll be faster, but you can walk away and do other stuff while it's doing it. So right. Not that big of a deal. You know, for me, having faster crafting when you're doing it through a machine of some kind, um, it, it kind of makes me tethered to that to that machine, and I don't like that. So yeah. yep. it's almost better to have it slower. <laughs> <laughs> for, for you personally, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so hey, I was wondering, did you uh, did you get into a tribe yet? No, I didn't make a tribe yet. Okay. Oh. Well, let's do that process, will you? All right. Uh, do you want me to make the tribe, or you want to make it so that people can see how it's done? Um, yeah, let me let me make it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and invite you. Like the old days, man. Like the old days. That's right. <laughs> now now you can actually uh, do this one of two ways. You can either go up to somebody and just invite them to the tribe, or you can go into your tribe manager. And once you go into the tribe manager, it'll allow you to name the tribe before you go out and start recruiting people. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to name this Dragon Tribe. If I can type uh, dragon tribe, and I'm gonna create new tribe. Now, once I created this tribe, I'm able to close these inventory screens and look for dragon who is currently missing. There he is. Hey. Or she is. <laughs> I should say. <laughs> well, um, yeah, my character's a girl. <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and invite dragon to dragon's tribe. I accept. Awesome. So now we're in a tribe. Notice that his name became green instead of yellow. Um, that's because we are in a tribe together. Uh, if if I were to go into tribe manager at this point, I can do a couple of cool things. I can actually go in here and I can transfer ownership to Dragon, which automatically makes me a uh, admin. Now, if he, let's say that I didn't want him to be the owner, but I wanted him to be an admin before I had <laughs> transferred owner, ownership, yeah, yeah, of yeah, course, yeah, right? Man, I'll, 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 I'll transfer it back. <laughs> but, but if I had wanted him to be an admin, I can actually uh, demote from admin at this point, and I can actually say, hey, I want you to be an admin, dude. And there he is. Now, what, what does it mean to be an admin, Dragon? Well, it means I can do this, or join the tribe. Woohoo, I'm in. That's a, that's exactly right. So now he has the ability to recruit as well. In addition to that, there are some things that uh, that you can do with with the ability to uh, to have admin rights. So uh, with houses, you can lock doors um, and make them admin only. That's that's kind of a neat feature if you have a really large tribe, right? Yeah. Um... Or, or if you just want like an area that like you don't want new people necessarily going in and just using all the resources for certain stuff, because um, I mean, when people first start, they they may not know what you know. Like you might have a heap of gunpowder there for for you're about to have a fight with another tribe or something. You don't want them going in there and just like making a heap of plain bullets for their for their low level gun. Yep. So one of the things that you haven't seen yet is uh, is the gathering, and that's pretty much what this game is really all about, is about the grind, right? <laughs> At the start, definitely. <laughs> right. When you first start out, you are going to grind and grind and grind. Um, oh, one thing you didn't tell them about the uh, tribe. If, if you look at the top of your screen right now, you should be getting uh, shared XP. Oh, that's right. The shared XP comes through when you are all kind of doing the, the grindy things. 
ba basically anything where you have to gather and kill things. Uh, and I think just over time, or maybe through movement, you get a tiny bit of XP as well. But the the movement isn't shared. But any anything like killing things, uh, gathering things, you you you'll get XP. And if your tribe members are within range, they'll they'll get half of the amount of XP that you get. So in uh, Survival of the Fittest, like everything's sped up, of course. Um, but it's really good if you have a tribe member you'll level a lot faster. <laughs> yeah, and you know, it's it's always nice to uh, to have those extra levels rolling in, even when you're, uh, let, let's say that you're busy doing something else, and, uh, and you know, and, and somebody else is crafting, you're going to start seeing those levels coming in as well, or you'll see that experience coming in. Um, so it's, it's kind of nice when you're busy and they're busy, and they're both kind of converging and, and adding to what you're doing. Um, yeah. Now this area is kind of barren, so I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the other side, and yeah, where the trees are. Yeah, and I'm I'm going to go chop down a tree and go feed myself and do all kinds of stuff like that. I I have a glitch going on right now where I can't actually see my health, so I'm hoping oh, that yeah, I'm I doing had that okay. Just before. I, <laughs> I I had that before when I deliberately killed myself to the total. I don't so think just, anyone saw that. I don't think it was uh, recording. Does that just show zero the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it's just like all, all grayed out. All it's blacked grayed out. out. It. Yeah. I I can take a peek in my inventory and I can see that I'm at 90 right now, but um, that won't uh, it won't be at 90 for long if I don't get some stuff. So I'm gonna pick some berries here. And uh, hey, Oric. <laughs> Hey, Do we have to call him by his real he's, name? He's missing. He's missing in action. Okay, I just made some, some meat for the beast, so I'll survive swimming across now. Okay. Where'd you guys go? Um, um, we're, we're just straight across from where the fire was. We're just gathering uh, you see me over here? plants and stuff. Uh, do you see me, Ark? I do, I see you. Thanks. By the way, which beast was it? <laughs> <laughs> I hear you got three over there at the moment. The, the Orac beast. The oh, Orac beast. You. I'm just glad there's no megalodons in this water. <laughs> well, yeah, it, it, it's uh, just meant to be like a river or whatever. There's normally plenty of piranhas in there. <laughs> I don't know. They, there you guys are. It's like I didn't see where Donk went. So. Uh, I'm... I, Here's here's what I'm gonna do is now I've got uh, I've got one of each berry, and uh, Oric, do you mind going through the berries real quick? Um, okay, well the most important berry to me is the narco berry, and uh, that's because it's not for eating. It's because you can make a toxin out of it to uh, tranquilize animals, and then you can tame them and have them do your bidding. Um, the next most important one would be the the mejo or mejo berry. It's a purple berry, and it's uh, it's great for taming. Uh, as for the other ones, I just generally eat them. <laughs> I don't have any specific purpose, but they're uh, they're really great for wh the, when you're low in water. The, you just eat them. The blue or the yellow one is really good for dodos. It's actually better than the major for dodos. You know, one so of the other so things. So if you want to tame a heap of dodos, they're the ones you want to go for. <laughs> right. The uh, the other thing is that they can be used for dyes later on. Um, yes, that's that's true as well. And the stem berries are used for uh, waking yourself up if you start getting tranked by uh, by maybe a scorpion or um, or oh, other tribes if you're on PvP. Right. If somebody hits you with some trank darts, um, you can you can give yourself these, but they uh, they make you thirsty. So probably a good idea to stay away from them unless you really need them. They also will give you some stamina back as well. So if you're like running and uh, you're getting low on stamina and something's still chasing you, you could eat a couple of those to uh, increase your stamina a little bit. Maybe maybe it'll give you the, the little bit extra to get away or something. Or if you're swimming. Uh, actually no, when you're swimming you can't eat, so it won't work there. Right. You know, Unless you can find a rock or something to rest on. Right, or or if you're uh, a lot of the uh, 
aquatic animals can be tamed. And so let's say that you're you're riding on the back of a shark. Well, you can surface and then stand on the saddle and you can you can eat or you know, you can eat there. You don't need to drink because you're in the water. Yeah. Um that's that brings me to a, a good point, right? Um I don't think we talked about how the water works and how you get water. No, you didn't. You, we uh, we didn't talk about water or food. You, like I guess you kind of just spoke about food, but not 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 entirely. So basically, if I come to the water's edge, I can I can look down and I can press the Y button, which is the uh, on the controller. I can press the Y button and it it's gonna give me a drink of water. I can also press the the E button, right? Is it E or yeah, F? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it, it's E to uh, okay. to drink water. So I can press you, the you, E key. You can just submerge yourself as well. Yeah, and you can get it through osmosis. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, you're going to drink the lake when you're swimming. <laughs> that happens when it rains as well. You just stand around and you're you're full of water. Nobody, yep. Nobody's nobody been to uh, Chatfield Reservoir for a while, have you? I, I know you, you're not from around here, but if you were from where I am from, from Colorado, there's a, a reservoir that is stinky, like stinky gets really bad. So, what's going on over here, guys? Well, I found this dodo walking around, and he was fairly low level, so I decided to uh, bonk him over the head. And uh, <laughs> it has him? a similar effect to the narco berries, it actually knocks him unconscious, and allows me to um, give him some Stockholm Syndrome. I'm just going to keep feeding him until he sees things my way. Uh, do you want to talk about the narco berries, how you use those as well? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so when you get the narco berries, uh, you can you can use them in a couple of different ways. One of the ways that you can use them is, and this is the most basic way, is you can just put them into the inventory of the animal that's been downed. Um, you can see that it's uh, it's unconscious, so it, it says it's a wild female dodo, level 8, unconscious. Now we can come over to here and we can take a look if I can get it just right. We can see that this this dodo is unconscious. You have the purple bar. That bar is going to go down and down and down until it becomes conscious again. We don't want that to happen because we want the the taming bar, which is uh, kind of an orangish color. We want that to get all the way to the top. Um, you can see your taming effectiveness as well and that taming effectiveness goes down with time and it also depends on the type of food that you're using and whether or not it gets hit during the process of taming so i can come in here if it's starting to wake up and i can take the uh the major berry or no the um the narco berries and i can remote use item on that and when I do that, you see the torpor down at the bottom. That's uh, that's that's how knocked out they are. That's the word that they use for how knocked out they are. And when I feed it in uh, a narco, yeah, I'm lagging a little. Yeah, bit. yeah, it's lagging. Yeah, there's a major lag spike. <laughs> uh, hopefully, hopefully this all gets fixed by the time the game actually gets released, because we're still playing in early access. And we've we've actually seen these on uh, the official servers more than we see it on. I I have my own server and uh, and we all play on that server. But uh, but it's it's actually not really. I don't see those lag spikes at all on our server. I think that's to do with uh, how many people are on it as well. Like how much because on our server the game doesn't have to worry about so many different uh, people's buildings and stuff like that. A lot less stuff. The uh, it has to like render and stuff like that. Sure. Well, um, I'm gonna collect a few more here. Hey, you can see I that... tamed a dodo. <laughs> yes. You can see that we tamed the dodo. <coughs> and now you can make the dodo follow you around, and it'll kind of try to it'll it'll kind of try to actually attack things. But dodos are really terrible at combat. <laughs> but they're good for carrying a few things in the beginning yeah. if you need someone to help you carry stuff they yeah, also lay that's eggs right. that's a and good that's thing. how I met Dom <laughs> that's right I was out looking for dodo eggs and, I, and we have to have one alright just like in uh, Minecraft if you punch trees you get some of the stuff that you need at the beginning um, 
this stuff... But you take damage. Yeah, this stuff comes very slowly, and you do take a lot of damage in it. Um, so that, that brings us to another <laughs> pretty good point. Um, once Rotting. once we've uh, gotten to the point where we can, we can level up, we get what we call EP, or Ingram points. Um, Dragon, you want to go on that one? Yeah, sure. Um, so if you open up your Ingram points... Like, when you level, automatically, it'll open up your Ingram points once you've put all your levels in. And you'll see, like, a bunch of different stuff. And you'll see a lot of stuff that's, like, uh, blacked out or grayed out, whatever you want to you call it. Um, because you're not a high enough level to learn that yet. You might also see... Um, can you see the thatch door, I'm guessing, Donk, how it's, like, yellow? Um, yes. Yeah, that's be you can't learn it because you need to learn something else first. Um, but right at the start, you want a campfire, a hatchet, and probably a spear. Um, now, everything it has a cost, so you see, like, the campfire costs 3 EP, or Ingram points, the hatchet costs 3, and the spear costs 3. Uh, as you get to things later on, it's going to cost a lot more, depending on what it is. Um, but you want those things pretty quickly, and you want the the cloth, like, pants and shirt and stuff. that They'll give you a little bit of protection against... Uh, damage as well as against the uh, environment, like the heat and cold and stuff like that. You guys don't happen to have any extra meat laying around, do you? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I am a vegetarian for a minute here and then. Alright, so here's, here's what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm gonna oh, do another thing about being in a tribe dunk is you so for example I just learned like the campfire and stuff. You can have a tribe member learn some of the stuff so you so you can get um, early on. Like I, I learned how to make a shirt. You could have someone else learn how to make the pants so that you can at the start you can both have like a shirt and pants even though you can only learn one yourself. Right. That's a great point. Um, and, and really, if, if it's a kind of a long-term thing where you, you think you're going to be in the tribe for a long time with other people, um, you can't learn all of the Ingrams. So it's a good idea to, to balance that throughout the tribe. Yep. So if you're the dedicated crafter, and then maybe you don't, they don't want you learning, like, cloth pants or something. like. But, I mean, I, I don't think I've, I've ever been... I've only been in a couple of tribes. We've never had anyone that's just a dedicated crafter and has put points in crafting. No. It's, it's more just being like, all right, we need this, you know, we, we need to make a house. So you'll learn, like, the walls, I'll learn the floor and the roof or something like that. All right. So what I'm doing now is I'm just collecting berries. I'm just doing a, a big old berry pickup. I'm also getting a, a lot of fiber from this which is also a good thing because that's what you use yes. to make clothes. You need a lot of fiber early on. Mm -hmm. And any, uh, any, uh, if you're going to make a little house or anything like that, um, you're going to need fiber for that as well. So Fiber kind of acts a bit like a rope, I guess, um, as well as thread, like for the clothes and stuff. It acts like rope to hold things together. Right, and you know, when it comes down to uh, to to fiber, fiber is really kind of hard to come by early on. It's just kind of um, uh, you, you spend a long time grinding picking right, up berries. <laughs> right, you're just there, just just pressing the button over and over and over uh, again. Did you want me to make you a hatchet dunk? Um, yeah, I was I was actually gonna make one, but uh, let me see if I have the stuff to do it. I do. I can make one. All right, no worries, no worries. Um, I gotta make some pants too. I, you know, I can't be doing this uh, with no pants on, so I gotta put some pants on. <laughs> I hate to tell you, man. I, I'm recording too. You got no pants. <laughs> Seen it. All right. It's... Luckily, the weather's not too bad here. <laughs> That's yeah. good. Yeah. No. No cold days. Well, it was cold during the night. Uh, maybe, maybe when it hits nighttime again, you can show people that. <laughs> right. Like, no. Point that out. No, I think not. No, no, no. Just show the cold symbol. Oh, like right. You know oh, yeah, 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 sure. I thought you were talking about <laughs> something else. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter, man. Uh, so, anyway, um, right now we're uh, we're going to do a little bit of um, 
gathering some stuff, and uh, we'll come back for a part two. I know this was already kind of a long one, but uh, we'll come back for a yep. part two on this. Thanks for All watching. Right.